Coming up, are you wondering how many downloads you're actually getting through organic search? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you within iTunes Connect how to pull that data to see if your ASO efforts are actually making a difference. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young back from our Santa Cruz event. It was phenomenal. We had a, such a great time. And I personally felt a huge difference from our Vegas event to our Santa Cruz event. I just felt more comfortable. I knew the format was going to work. And we had such a great time there. And I know that great connections were made. And I got so much good feedback from everybody there that we are now planning our 2018 schedule, and we're planning to visit LA, New York, maybe Bali. I'll be there. Hope to see you there too. Bali, and then we haven't figured out what the exact fourth location is going to be in September, where either we bring it back to the Bay or we go somewhere, maybe Austin, somewhere in the Midwest. But we are planning that 2018 schedule for App Masters Connect. So do not miss out because it is going to be phenomenal. We're already prepping the LA one. That's probably going to happen in February. So stay tuned and I will let you know when we have finalized all the details for that. But it is an amazing, amazing event. And I've got some really good testimonials from people. I actually lost my voice. <laughs> now it's back a little bit. But got some amazing feedback from people. And people really, really enjoyed the size and the format size and format, that's all that really matters. So really good stuff. But today I wanna to talk about ASO and then how do you figure out like how many downloads you're actually getting from organic search. So let's go into the screenshot and I'm gonna show you how to figure all that stuff out. Here we go. All right, so you're gonna log into iTunes Connect. I have actually have two windows opened right now because I wanted to show you side by side the download numbers, the overall download numbers and then versus the search so that you can see the comparison between the two so that now everything is being driven through organic search. Okay, so this download number is important, but not hugely important in terms of figuring out what the organic downloads look like. So you can see side by side comparison. Okay, so the, the left screen is where you're going to pay attention. This is the overall downloads that we've gotten within the last 30 days. And then this is where we really want to pull the organic data, the left hand side. So we're going to log into iTunes Connect and then we're going to go into app analytics. Here's all your apps. I'm gonna actually put pick the app that I'm gonna focus on, which is Paintball Rush, one of my better performing apps in terms of downloads. Great, you see all this, you see all the retention, you see app device, you see all this data, and you see the units is very close to what we see right here, right? 4.8, so about 5,000 downloads within the last 30 days, okay? Now we're gonna go into sources. Let's click on sources. You see the product views. I'm gonna filter this. So here's where it's important. So this is for Paintball Rush, okay? This is for Paintball Rush. Now, as you can see, 80% of the downloads, oh, this is the product views. So you can even actually do app units, okay? So I'm gonna do app units. All right, so you can see 36% of the downloads are coming through browse, and I'm gonna pull this up a little bit closer for you guys there. So you can see that browse is customers who viewed your app or tap to download it for the first time while browsing the featured categories or top chart section of the App Store. I'm getting about 36% of the downloads because I'm selecting app units from App Store Browse. Now, these are generally people, like, it's, like they said, they found it through the top charts fe or featured or just categories, okay? While, featured, while browsing the featured, the categories or top charts section of the App Store. So they're just, they're just browsing the App Store and they fall, they see my app and they're downloading the app. Okay, now App Store Search, these are customers who viewed your app or tapped to download it for the first time from search on the App Store. This includes search ads. So if you're running some search ads campaigns, then this is where you're gonna find that data. They don't differentiate the two, but this is where it's completely through search. Now this is where we're gonna pay attention to when we're doing ASO, all right? So these are the other ones if you're probably running some campaigns. I wanna show you this app because we're not running any type of acquisition campaigns, so you can easily pull the data from here. So I'm gonna click into this, App Store Search, and we have app units already installed. So now you can see, I'm gonna pull back on this chart a little bit, that the overall downloads, this is about 3,000, 
and I'm getting about 5,000. So it's right, like about 64% of the downloads are coming from App Store search. This is, we're relying completely on App Store search. Not completely, but you know, a good portion of the downloads we're getting from App Store search. So you can see all this, and this is the downloads that are coming strictly from keyword search, from ASO. So this is how you kind of decide, hey, I've done one optimization, am I seeing it up in downloads? I'm not, then you can reorganize and kind of figure out what else is happening. Generally, when I do ASO, I do also look at app units and impressions. I know, like, we, look, we all care only about the app units and downloads, but impressions also give a gauge on, okay, how many more keywords are we showing up for? Because sometimes, to be perfectly honest, we might see clients who are flat when it comes to downloads, but their impressions have doubled, right? That's because we know, if you watch all our videos, that our process works, that we can find keywords with low competition. So we're able to rank really high for these keywords. But at the same time, maybe those keywords were either not ranking high enough or maybe they're not relevant to our app. So we're gonna have to adjust. But in the first round of ASO, I generally try to be a little bit more aggressive. And then the second round, I try to ease up. Like, okay, what worked, what did not work? That allows me to kind of decide. Because if it does work, then like, great. Everything's working really well. We got we got we double the downloads. Or if it doesn't work and the downloads are flat, then I can readjust and see how okay, how do what other keywords can I go after that are more relevant, even though the impressions went up, that are more relevant to driving those downloads. Make sense? So this is where we can kind of see this. And I think you could do this for anything. So if you're like, hey, where are most of my sales coming from? You can do it through search if you want to do that. And then in-app purchases, so forth, the filter is on for the search. So you can do it that way too. But if you don't want to do it, then you can just take that off as well. Cool. And I'm going to show you another way to do this. So you can come into the overview. You've already picked your app, right? So here, let me go into the, the second way of doing this as I'm doing this. So go into app analytics. Again, select the app that you want to work on. Go into metrics. Right Now you're in the app units and you can add filter. So you can then say source type, app store search. It's probably the easier way of doing it. Should have probably let off with that, Steve. <laughs> but that's how you do it too. And now you can see the downloads just purely from ASO and app store search. All right, hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, like the, like the video on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And lastly, guys, we do have the App Masters Academy rocking and rolling, the first course that we're gonna create. Now, there's a bunch of courses already. So the ASO Masters course is on there, the Black Hat ASO strategy is on there, the Pay to Free campaign is on there. So a lot of the courses that we've already created, they're all up there, and we're about to create a ton more new courses. So we've got the Apple feature one coming up this week. We've got ASO for iOS 11, you know, the app store is about to refresh as of this recording. So you can kind of decide it's September 19th right now, but it's, it's about the new app store is about to come out. So I'm going to do ASO for iOS 11 pretty soon. And then I'm going to update the black hat ASO strategy about reviews and hacking the system. Cause I think we're getting, we're trying to figure everything's out, everything out. And I think there is a better way of purchasing reviews. All right. If you needed to go that route. All right. So if you want to get access to it, it is one low monthly price It's $25. We've already got about a handful of people. I would say a dozen or so people, probably more, but at least a dozen or so people who already are subscribers. And for those who are Academy members, I try to make a little bit more time for you guys too. I just got on a call with somebody who's part of the Academy, a couple of people actually were part of the Academy. So I'm more than willing to help these members out a little bit more than I generally do on our calls. I'm I'm here to provide content, as you know, by, from watching our videos, I'm here to provide content, but obviously I'm gonna provide a little bit more to the Academy members. It's something I'm very, very, very passionate, passionate about. I'm gonna double down on creating more actionable content for you guys, and I'd love, my vision for the Academy is to have hundreds, if not thousands of members reach a million downloads in through because of the Academy, all right? so. Bear with me. I'm hoping to get there. All right. Check it out. If you want to get access to it, it is appmastersacademy.com. Appmastersacademy.com. It's also linked up into the video and your favorite podcast app. All right, guys. Until next time, I will see you. Bye.